to my left in the blue corner, representing New Zealand, trained by Jason Suddy at the Elite Thai Kickboxing Gym in New Zealand. Last night of the weigh-in, he came in at 72.7 kilograms. He hails from Mangere in New Zealand, wearing white shorts with an electric emblazoned across the front. Fight record of 35 fights, 24 wins, two draws, seven by way of knockout, ladies and gentlemen, Edwin Sammy. And now to my right, in the red corner, representing Australia, trained by Arslan Magomedov at the Scorpion Gymnasium. He weighed at 71.5 kilograms. He hails from Carrara, wearing black tie shorts with yellow and white piping. He is the current WMC Australian Muay Thai Champion. He is also the WKN Australian Muay Thai Champion. Fight record, 40 fights, 34 wins. 22 fights, one by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Sebastian. Johnny, it's one all at the moment. Suvlaki Hut sponsoring. Fighters to censoring. This semi-main event, uh, Frankie Georgie taking on Electric Edwin Semi. Electric okay, Edwin okay, Semi, boys, mate, uh, been around for a long team, time. You both know the rules. All I ask for a good, clean fight. Okay? When I say break, I want good, clean, even breaks. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck. Not sure where uh, Electric Edwin Semi is originally from, mate. He doesn't look like a Kiwi to me. Right but he's been one. based over in New Zealand for a long time. And, mate, he's as tough as they come out of New Zealand. He's very hard to put away. 35 fights, 24 wins with Frankie Georgie, the current WMC and WK in Australian champion. He just recently defeated uh, Dusan Selva on uh, Darren Kurovic's domination show over in Perth on the undercard of the John Wayne Park World title fight. So he's on a bit of a roll at the moment, Frankie Georgie. Yeah, Edwin Sammy opening up with an attempted spinning back fist, uh, which is uh, quite unusual uh, early on in the, the five round war. Tell you what, we would expect from both these fighters. And, yeah, uh, one thing you'll see with Frankie Georgia, Johnny, he loads up with absolutely every shot, and we've seen him demolish his opponents. And he's had 34 wins, 22 by KO, so that's a decent knockout uh, percentage ratio. Yeah, look, I haven't met uh, Edwin Sammy personally, but uh, Frankie Georgia, I've had the pleasure of uh, uh, talking to on a number of occasions, and you wouldn't meet a quite a, a nicer guy outside the ring. Softly spoken, but uh, come centre ring time, it's a completely different persona. He's uh, very focused and uh, just looking to put the lights out on his opponent. Yeah, he's very snappy with all of his combinations, John. We're already seeing that here in this first round. This one's five three minute rounds, full tie rule, sponsored by the Sublaki Hut. Just very crisp, Frankie. Unkind to him, just looking a little bit, uh, a little bit on the. I suppose he's not as lean as Frankie, should, shall we say, Johnny, in the in the conditioning states. Yeah, well, uh, not really sure what uh, Edward weighed in at, but he's probably put on a couple of kilos now come uh, fight time, which is not uncommon, uh, Johnny. We know that uh, John Wayne Pay, <laughs> in particular, between uh, weigh-in and fight time, can put on anywhere up to 10 kilograms, which uh, never ceases to amaze me. But uh, I yeah, just got a funny yeah. feeling though that Edwin could probably fight a little bit lighter than the 71, but uh, having said that, mate, he's been around for a long time, 35 fights. But, uh, I reckon his uh, shins might be a little bit banged up looking at the, the guards that he's got on. He's got uh, a couple of ankle guards taped right up on his right shin specifically with a fair bit of padding underneath that. Frankly, I'm just unloading that, uh, that leg of his in there, but uh, switching between South Pole and Orthodox stands. Attempted catch and sweep there by Frank uh, work follows up with a, with a knee, but uh, Edwin just uh, drops Frankie on his backside. Yeah, Frankie, uh, Frankie's work rate always uh, right up there. Not virtually, but just there as you're getting out of the way. Yeah, big uh, right roundhouse kick there by Edwin looking to take uh, Frankie's head off, just missing the mark. Gotta love the Murphy Centering, just love the, love the way he referees. Probably recognised as being the best Muay Thai uh, referee in the country. Well, that's the end of round yeah, number one. And, uh, was Edward a great fighter in his day too, uh, the head hunter Brian Murphy. Rally brought to you by Suvlaki Hut. So 
round two, five three minute rounds, full tie rules. Round two. Third fight of Australia versus New Zealand, and it's one all. So Frankie Georgia with looking good to bring this one home. Frankie reminds me, the 71 kilo fighter reminds me a lot of the, the lighter guys. He's just so quick and snappy with his, with his techniques. seen him perhaps in the last uh, 6 or 12 months been quite active and we've seen him fighting over in Perth as well and on the kickboxer forums uh, Richard Ricker Walsh uh, putting it out there that Frankie is looking uh, to be uh, to have a very busy 2010. Edmonds have just trying to wrap on around uh, Frank Snack and just raise the top of his head. Good punches there by uh, Frankie Georgie working the body and then going upstairs and now attempting a crossing and upward elbow. Almost <laughs> uh, an elbow combination, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, the, the crossing and then the upper elbow, John, but uh, it's another step up uh, elbow there. Yeah, and just poking that teep into Edwin to keep him at range. But I'll tell you what, Edwin's already shown that he's, uh, he's happy to trade backwards, and uh, Frank's got to keep his wits about him. Once again, uh, Edwin attempting that spinning back fish, just, uh, just pulling back on that one. But he was looking to line him up. But Frank was well out of the way, but that's why he couldn't let go. See Arsenal there, very vocal on the on ringside there, calling out to his charge of Frank and Georgie. Big moving right hand there by Edward. Frank just uh, keeping a, a pretty low guard, Johnny. Sure. Contrast to Edwin, who's uh, is keeping a very nice tight defensive guard. And as Frank tries to work the body, then upstairs. Yeah, good observation from Johnny Edwin. Uh, Edwin keeping his guard up nice and tight as Frank's coming in. And just the work like that, Frank is just, uh, just sensational. Just always, always doing something. I tell you, I take nothing away from uh, Electric Edwin Sammy. He's, uh, he's not setting the place on fire at the moment, but he's, uh, when, when you just think that Frankie's going to unload, Edwin uh, comes back to something of his own. Tempted step up el elbow there from uh, Frankie, so he's, he's not uh, holding back at all on the, he's looking for a knockout uh, technique. As we know, Johnny, it only Let's takes uh, one good elbow two. to hit the mark and it's uh, lights out. The third round, the first round the Round three. 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 Whether it be punches, kicks, attempted elbow strikes, as you said, Johnny, just never an idle uh, moment for him in centre ring. So round three of five, proudly brought to you by Suvlaki Hut. Tell you what, mate, we've had the Italians and now we've got the Greeks uh, sponsoring these fights. Uh, well, that's what we want to see. It's a <laughs> multicultural sponsorship. Uh, Fighters, trainers, whatever, that's Australia for you, Johnny. Uh, and it all makes uh, for a very interesting and uh, entertaining fight scene. Speaking of music, you can see the, uh, the waistband around Frankie's shorts is the red, white and green, John. Showing the Italian heritage of uh, Frank Sebastian or Frank Georgian. Step up knee there from, uh, from Electric Edwin Sammy. I'll tell you what, as I said, he, he's not looking as conditioned as, as Frankie, but uh, he, he's, he'll tell you what, he's, he's on the front foot at the moment. Yeah, well, he's got a bit of a height advantage, uh, and that was probably the first example so far in this fight of uh, Edwin really using it. When fighting out of Southport at the moment. So, you know, he's switching up, really making Frankie think about what he's got to do. 
step up knee there from Frankie. Follows up with the nice straight right to the midsection. Yeah, this is good work by Frank, you know, working his punches both uh, upstairs and downstairs. Yeah, attempted step jumping knee there from uh, Edwin Sammy and <laughs> Frank just uh, rolled him over. <laughs> Well, look, you don't see a lot of fighters do that when, when they catch a kick. That's a good good technique to use, just roll yourself to the side and it really takes your really opponent off balance. I'll, I'll tell you what, Edmund's really starting to load up fighting back out of orthodox stance again. I reckon you just switched to Southport just before, just to give that lead leg of his a bit of a, a, bit of a break, because Frank's just been peppering away at it. Yeah, nice flashy uh, spin back kick there from Edmund Sammy. Unfortunately, just uh, missed a mark. Perhaps he might want to try that technique and uh, aim for the midsection rather than, uh, than the head. It looked like a couple of seconds ago he was looking like he wanted to set up with another spinning back fist, but uh, Frank was just backing off a bit so he didn't, didn't unleash it. Listen, John, Frank's hands at times drop dangerously low. Oh, <laughs> massive, massive elbow from Frank. He just missed the mark. And there you go, right on the bell, uh, a bit of a. Bit of Frank and Jordan there, still in the three. split, and yeah. Edmund just unleashing a knee right on the bell. Yeah, good flexibility there from Frank to do the splits at the end of that round. Well, he figured if the V dance girls could do the splits in centre, he was going to show them how we could do it as well, but no disrespect to Frank, I'd rather see the V girls uh, doing the splits in centre ring. Again, just, uh, Frank just working uh, the high kicks, as you said, the low kicks, both sides. Just super quick with his reflexes. Once again, this semi-main event, Australia versus New Zealand, proudly brought to you by Suit Lucky Hut. And there goes Edward <laughs> once again with that attempted spinning back fist. Oh, nice good short crossing elbow there from Frank. And, and Frank onto him with a right, right round kick as he now follows up, punches to the body. Round kick, deep, good work by Frank. Step up knee. But he's been busy in that, uh, those few seconds there, John. That, that elbow, I think it, it sort of dazed Edwin, just for the second he went down, he got up, he looked at Murph, and uh, Frank was just launching it to begin with another high kick. Big looping right hand by Frank. But look at how he just uses that short teep to, to just poke uh, Edwin and keep him away every time Edwin tries to move in on him. But that's just a testament to how quick Frank is on his toes and his, you know, his, his reaction times. Uh, there's nothing in it. He's just so quick when he unloads a kick, just like that one. Comes out of nowhere, and as you said, Johnny, when he's using that teep, someone's walking, or Edwin's walking in at him, he just teeps him away. He's basically using that short teep, just like a jab, which we don't see that often, uh, but it's a great technique working well for Frankie so far in this fight. It's almost like Frankie's been drinking the V out the back, mate. He's, uh, he's just, uh, he's almost hyperactive there in center ring. Yeah, not flat footed at all, always on the balls of his feet. Uh, this is a great uh, technical fight by Frank George. Once again, puts that teep straight into the midsection of Edwin Sammy. And, uh, full credit to Edwin. Frank's thrown absolutely everything at him. And uh, he said Frank's won uh, 22 of his 34 fights by knockout. And no sign of uh, anything at this stage uh, taking it electric Edwin Sammy out. Good step up knee once again by Frank George. He follows up. Round kick to the rib cage. Perhaps he's wondering what has he got to do to, to really uh, <laughs> rock Edwin Sammy. And Jason, uh, Jason Suddy, very vocal in the corner, just settling uh, electric Edwin Sammy just to keep going. 30 seconds remaining in round number four. It's just hard to know where Frank's coming from, you know. It looked like he was setting up from the hands and then um, which is just another low kick. Does fire his techniques at a very rapid rate, John. Well spotted. I'll tell you what, just there, Edwin had, uh, had Frankie locked up in his own corner, just unleashed a couple on him, a couple of unanswered shots. Good work by Edwin to get out of the red corner. Let's get a round Frank number four. Uh, to unload on him once again. What an exciting round of Muay Thai action. Frankie Sebastian, Edwin Sammy. Semi-main event, Suvlaki Hut sponsored final round. Fighters touch gloves. This is the fifth and final round. <laughs> Both boys just sort of standing back looking at Murph as if to say, can we start? But the bell hadn't gone at that stage. But, uh, 
again, just super impressed with Frankie George. He just, he's, he just loads up with every single shot. Got strong low kicks to that lead leg of Edwin Sammy. But really, Edwin uh, needs to go for broke here in, uh, in the final round. Frank will be well ahead on points. As Frank goes to work, doubling up on those left knees into the midsection, attempted crossing elbow. Now working the right knee, follows up with the left. This is fantastic. Uh, great to watch. Yeah, textbook work from Frankie Georgian. But I'll tell you what, some of those elbows haven't quite uh, found the range, but if they do, it'll be uh, lights out to electric end and semi. Interesting there, Frank uh, caught that uh, round kick, but uh, didn't even attempt at all to try and uh, sweep the supporting leg off Edwin. That's why a lot of young fighters want to sit back and just watch the work rate of Frankie Georgie. And the way that he uses every, he uses all of his weapons, he's, he's not stagnant, he's moving around all the time, he's using absolutely every technique that he's got, and he uses them with great effect. Once again, uh, Edwin attempting that uh, spinning back fist, which uh, he might as well leave that one at home. It hasn't worked for him so far, and he's not going to win the fight unless he connects really sweetly with one of those. Yeah, there's just no venom in that dog. No. He's, he's, he's basically just sort of rolling around. It's giving uh, Frankie just a chance to step back and get an evade. Yeah, it's almost telegraphed, and Frank can see it coming, and as we see Frank continue to pile the points onto the scorecard. You know, we get guys like Michael Thomas, Mark Thompson, who's uh, renowned for, for the spinning back fist and spinning back elbows and taking but at the moment, Frankie George is unloading on Edwin, Edwin Sammy. Frankie's leg goes out of the ring and he just yeah. pulls it back in to unleash a few more knees. Steps back into the ring as he just goes to town on Edwin Sammy with knees to the midsection. A lot of those two are also catching uh, Edwin on the gloves as well. And you can see, again, this is full credit to Edwin Sammy just walking forward again. Frank's unleashed absolutely everything onto him. Only 50 he's seconds remaining. Come on, let's bring this fight home. And then John Demacola just getting right behind the crowd who are getting behind Frankie. Again, nice step up knee from Frank Georgie. As Edwin now just uh, looking to put a couple of punches together as Frankie just leans back out of the way. Yeah, really doesn't seem too troubled at all. No, he doesn't look he's in total control here in centre ring, but you know, having said that Edwin's just got a big overhand right there, but Frank's work rate is, is relentless, he's scoring shots and just uh, yeah, that, that'll get the fight home to him. Good crossing elbow there from, uh, from Frank. Very few times uh, the Murphs had to step in the centre ring and, uh, and break the boys up. Looping right hand by Let's Edwin. The the Action packed job. We are the judges' scorecards to get your winner. This one will be going to the judges' scorecard for the. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the judges' scorecards and your winner by unanimous points. Team Australia, right corner, Frankie Sebastian!